All right, number 69, chapter 12. In this one, we have a hollow sphere rolling along the floor at 5 meters per second. So it has initial velocity, V equals 5 meters per second. When it comes to a 30 degree incline, so all of a sudden it goes up an incline where this incline is 30 degrees. How far up the incline does it roll before reversing direction? So it's going to roll up here. It's going to run out of energy. It's going to stop somewhere. We want to know that distance D that it rolls up there. All right, so this is a rolling problem. And as a rolling problem, we do it as energy. Now in this case, it's already rolling with a certain velocity, so its energy is both translational and rotational kinetic energy. When it gets to the top, we're going to convert all this to gravitational potential energy, where this is H. All right, so what we want to do is figure out what H is, and then we're going to convert that to D by using just a right triangle. So let's solve this for H. So H is just going to be equal to 1 half mv squared plus 1 half, 1 half i omega squared, all divided by mg. Okay, but then we have to look up what i is, and i for a hollow sphere is equal to 2 thirds mr squared. That came from the table uh, on page 300. So we have 1 half mv squared plus 1 half of two-thirds of m r squared times omega squared, which is equal to v squared over r squared, all over mg. Now the good thing is the masses all cancel out, which doesn't do any, makes it simpler. The one-half cancels with that, and the r squareds cancel there. So we're left with h is equal to one-half of v squared plus one-third of v squared all over g. Well, we can simplify this still, and we say v squared over g is one-half plus a third. We do a common denier. This is three-six. This is two-six. So that's equal to five-six. So we got h is equal to five v squared over six g. And when we plug in the numbers for that, we get h is 2.126 meters. And we have our right triangle here, where this is h. We want d here. So we're going to use sine. So the sine of theta is going to be h over d. Or d is going to be h over the sine of theta. Or in our case, d is going to be 2.126 over the sine of 30. When we do that, we get d is equal to 4.3 meters, or two sig figs. And that's how you do number 69.